today I'm going to show you guys something really cool. It's called UPM PC. It's a ultra mini PC, and uh, it, I saw it online a year ago. It wasn't available, so I made my own version. Some of you guys might have seen it. I will put my link uh, for you to check it out. And it's a Raspberry Pi uh, uh, underneath, and the keyboard and very similar, but. Um, of course, I I made it, so I still think mine is the best. But you guys cannot buy it, so uh, maybe you can uh, take a look at the GPD I'm going to show you. And now let's uh, unbox it and take a look. Uh, there's the Windows key here. I don't want to uh, later put filter on it, so I just put a tape on it. And it oh. uh. from the outside, it just looks like a mini MacBook. And you know, we are calling it Shenzhen generic these days. Like most phones look alike and laptop looks like laptop. Um, there's nothing much noticeable aside from being small. And the keyboard here is pretty nice, but I have to actually tie uh, something on it and try it out. Let's take a look from the side. This is the USB. C port. This is the HDMI port, and this is the for the headphone, and this is the USB. But it feels very really nice. It's like um, MacBook not off. Uh, uh, it doesn't feel like cheap plastic like that. It's, it feels like a heavy metal. Uh, I don't think anyone will have a problem with the external case. Obviously, it doesn't run Mac OS, it runs Windows, but we will get into the Windows Linux thing uh, later. And uh, let's take a look at what else. So this is the instruction. They have um, English, Japanese, and Chinese. This is the power adapter. I think it's for USB-C, and this is the USB-C cable. Um, okay, that's all. Let me put this aside. Before I turn it on, I just want to uh, talk about the size a little bit. So compare with my hands, my hands are about uh, 15 centimeters long, about 6 inches and the laptop is very small. I know a lot of people have uh, bigger hands like uh, other YouTubers who review the GPD, they have bigger hands and most of them use it for games. As most of you know, I'm a coder, I'm a freelancer online, so if my client contact me at any time, I have to reply them as soon as possible. You know, there are a lot of other uh, coder out there. If I don't reply to them, I might lose my job and this is how I pay the rent. And But if I'm outside and I'm running an errand there, uh, I don't want to carry my big bulky laptop with me. I mean, I could. But uh, if it's just an hour work, I just need to make a small changes to keep them happy. I expect this keyboard to do the job and is it worth for an hour and just push through some changes and do some testing, writing on it. If we could, I would be very happy because uh, when I go out, you know, <laughs> I carry my little bear with me and uh, it can just fit right in my bear backpack and I can just keep shopping and drop by your Starbucks to reply emails and reply to my clients. Let's put the bear aside and I'll plug it in and let's take a look. OK, 
Continue in select language, English. Hi there, I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. You can use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the sound icon. Your keyboard is set to US. Want to stick with that? Yes. Now let's get you connected to a network. That way you can get updates, apps, and cat videos as soon as possible. Alright, you're connected. Now, we'll check for any updates. Done and done. You're up to date. Your computer will restart and keep updating. Sounds like Windows 10 to me, updating. Microsoft recommends. Go ahead and review them and select accept when you're ready. Hi. We're getting everything ready for you. That takes a while. This might take several minutes. In the process, you see me doing whatever, like just click accept because I don't really care because later I might wipe out everything and I'm going to install Ubuntu. Yes, they have the Ubuntu version later, but now I'm just getting a feel of the hardware and the keyboard and the display. So, oh, let's start, finish, okay. So first, we are going to uh, open Explore, same reason everybody uses Explore, to download a real web browser. I don't know what they call this blue thing here, it's a pointing stick, uh, it's not a factor, it works well. Usually I'm in English and I use command line anyway, worst comes to worst, I just buy an external mouse to uh, use that, but uh, now it uh, doesn't seem like a problem. Okay, now let's try out Firefox. In China, we have uh, firewall issues here, so I'm just going to some local sites to give you an idea about the speed. Robuster is fine, no surprises. I didn't expect any issues from there. Windows 10 is Windows 10. We all know what we can expect, but I'm not going into that. I'm more concerned about the hardware. The hardware feels good, the keyboard feels good. I'm going to do more testing and I'm going to shoot more videos. In the meantime, if you want to get your hands on one of the GPD Pocket, they are a little hard to get a hold of at the moment. I'm going to put the link in the comment section. If you want to buy one, you better get one soon. Until then, remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it.